Okay, this lesson is for matrices with a calculator. This is gonna be a pretty brief tutorial on how to use your calculator to store um, matrices and then to compute all those different operations that we did yesterday without a calculator. So I think you guys are gonna like this because it, it makes it a lot more efficient when you're dealing with a matrix um, to be able to do this with a calculator. All of the steps are actually written out right here. So if at any point you get lost in the video when I'm you know, hitting buttons, just refer back to this. So please take your calculator out, I'm going to pause, and then we're going to start with um, the last two problems on this page. Okay, so here are our examples here, and I have two matrices that are given to me, matrix A and matrix B. Um, so we're going to compute this using our calculator, and then I think there's a typo here, it should say two stored matrices. So let's get our calculator out. Okay, what you're going to do um, is you're going to hit second matrix, which is right above this x to the negative first key. So second matrix pulls up this menu here, and um, this is the name of each matrix, so A, B, C through, you know, you can name it anything you want. Um, but we're going to edit our matrix so that we can actually input these specific values into our matrix. So I'm going to scroll over to edit and hit enter on here. And I want to enter the number of rows and columns, so I, I'm, I'm actually able to put the dimensions right into here. So this matrix A is a 2 by 2, so I just enter 2 by 2, and now I'm going to see a 2 by 2 matrix appear. So it's got you know a spot for each one of those. Um, and now I just go across and I enter. So you're going to enter 5, and then you'll enter negative 7, and so on. Okay, so it goes first row, and then second row, and so on. Okay, now I want to pull up um, I'm, I'm going to leave matrix A alone because I already edited it. So I can quit out of this by hitting second mode or second quit and then do the same thing to enter matrix B. So again, it's second matrix, which is right above that key here. Scroll over to edit. Now we're going to scroll down to B. Now do you see how in matrix A here I have a 2 by 2? So it's telling me what the dimensions are of the matrix that I just edited. So I'm going to hit this again and do 2 by 2 and enter all that data. Okay, now I'm going to close this out for a second. All right, now I want to add the two matrices together. I want to subtract the matrices, I want to multiply, and I want to multiply B times A. So one of the things that we have to do first is to, de to determine if we can even do any of these operations. So if we look at A plus B, because this is a 2 by 2 plus another 2 by 2, this is going to work. Okay, we will not get an invalid um, answer in our calculator. If, if it's not something that can be multiplied together, your calculator will spit out an error message at you. Um, we can also subtract the matrices because they are the same dimension. And if we want to multiply these ma matrices, remember we check the inside numbers. These are This is the same, so 2 by 2, that means they can be uh, multiplied and it will result in the dimensions of the outside numbers. So this is going to result in a 2 by 2. The same thing goes for B times A. If we switch the order of this, this is matrix B, this is matrix A. We have the same two numbers, and these outside numbers will give our dimensions. Okay, so always double check that you can do that before you even try to uh, use your calculator. Okay, let's try number one then. Um, you we're going to quit out of this screen here, and we're going to call up matrix A plus matrix B. And how we do that is we hit second matrix, and instead of scrolling over to edit, I actually want to select names and just hit A. So I have A, and then I can just do plus second matrix again, and now let's call up the matrix B. Hit enter on matrix B, and now I've selected that. And if I hit enter here, this output 7, negative 4. Um, let's see if I can write this in here. So 7, negative 7, sorry, negative 4, 3, and 4 is the sum of those two matrices. Okay, next I want to calculate A minus B. Now I can do this two different ways. Um, I can do the same thing that we just did when we worked on this one and hit second um, matrix, call up A, and then do minus B. But I want to do this a little bit quicker with you guys. Um, I can actually hit second entry, which is above the enter key. And that last thing that I just entered, A plus B, you can scroll back here and switch that to a negative sign. And now that will um, do A minus B. So it calculated A minus B without having to go through all the steps of you know entering that again. So there's A minus B. You guys can go ahead and write that down. I know that these would probably be faster if you just did these in your head. But when they get really large, 
um, and more difficult, it'll be better for you to know how to do it this way, because um, it is more efficient and, and quicker. And plus, you probably can't get the problem wrong unless you were to enter one of the matrices, you know, one of the digits in wrong. All right, A times B, we're going to hit second matrix, and A times, you can use the multiplication key, or you could actually just do second matrix A times second matrix B here, and there's the product, okay? Um, the same thing is going to go for second matrix B times A. Now, if I enter B times A, I'm going to switch this up and do second matrix B here, and second matrix A. I want you to notice that they are not the exact same, okay? So A times B and B times A, these do not give me the exact same um, matrices, okay? So it is important that you notice that the order here is very, very important. And that's the end of this lesson. I kept it pretty short for you guys, okay? All right, I will see you guys in class mañana.